Hello guys and welcome back. Where well, today I am proud to present to you the world's first that I'm aware of Tileable Shulker Box Loader. And before you say, oh but Little Mango has already got a Tileable Shulker Box Loader, he kind of does. He has a Tileable Shulker Box Loader for bulk loading. So that's if there are loads of uh, his array stacked together, loading the same type, and it is a tiny bit lossy from the tests that I've been working on, uh, chucking absolute tons of items at it, uh, which is why this is better. Uh, only if you need to sort out items that you're loading into the shulk box. Otherwise, go for his. His is amazing. But, Yes, we have in front of us here a very messy inventory. Let's get rid of that and let's have a look at the redstone. So, we have here an adapted version of Il Mango's design. Uh, basically, the only thing still of his design are these blocks here and everything else is kind of new. So we have a normal item filter here, only this one takes 41 items with four filler blocks, which I'll show later on when we have a look over there. Uh, so it requires a signal strength of two. Now that I've said that, you could put a block there and have less items. Uh, now, I basically, every time I look at this, I'm like, oh, improvement. Uh, so yeah, you can actually remove that block. Uh, I'll have a play around with the other design and see whether that works, or whether it doesn't. So, uh, and then it goes into the filter here. But bear in mind, we have a block here, which I'll come back to later. So, items come down here and they flow into this hopper here. Now we have a dispenser here, which is filled with shulker boxes. And I've designed it so that there is a corridor along here that you can walk along. Bear in mind, you are walking into the redstone. And you can have a chest built on top of this thing here, which you can kind of go along and put your various uh, shulker boxes into and for color coding you could color code the concrete here for which shulker box or you could possibly put an item frame uh, either here which would make it quite hard to access the chest or here which would make uh, you might accidentally right click and put items in the item frame or rotate the item so that's one way of loading it. So as this fills up, once it gets to a certain signal length, whatever requires two, the signal will go along here and uh, let's follow this one first. Uh, follows, these repeaters need to be on four ticks, all three of them. Follows along to a cauldron here, which as you can see, it needs to be a third full. Uh, this is due to a few design constraints this has because it has to be fully tileable. And I am just quickly finding an empty glass bottle because that's actually on two thirds full because of what I had previously. I just had to add a little bit of extra delay. So moving on, uh, we have got, I don't know, that's why that's there. Uh, we have got um, so this is basically, signal goes along, wraps down here through this cauldron, wraps down, wraps down here, and you need to have a one signal strength item in here. So any item that stacks to 64 can go in here. And then that goes down here, and up, and into this dispenser here, which will plop shulker boxes onto this item, uh, onto this thing here, and then this hopper can load up into it. If we go up, it goes across to cut off the item filter from before. And this may seem a bit foolish, but it's in case another failsafe gets activated, which means that um, it prevents anything else activating and it prevents the system clogging it up. And it also goes up here and along and once again, we've got a one item strength dropper. If we just borrow a repeater, I'll work it in there. Uh, it will go into this comparator that has to have this piston pushed down here. And then it follows a comparator chain all the way down here to this piston. And this is timed so that this piston extends before this dispenser fires. 
So, now that I have got a <laughs> uh, all the items in droppers, we can now try this again. So, piston goes across, and then shulker box gets activated, and as you can see, the items start flowing into the shulker box. And it's almost it, except for the fail save, which I was just talking about. So, if... So this hopper here is the final block, uh, final hopper of the circuit, and this hopper here can be a chest if you so want. But if this hopper here fills up, um, bear in mind that you can have as much storage below here, and it won't affect anything. Uh, this circuit here will prevent it. Bear in mind I said it's tileable, which is why we've got a massive line of redstone dust, which essentially takes a signal strength 15 down to signal strength 1 up here, uh, which prevents circuits here from getting powered. So, uh, when this hopper here gets filled up, uh, the signal will travel up here, and firstly it will go into this block here, and what this does is it activates the piston one last time and shuts off this um, this item filter, which prevents any more items going through because this hopper here needs to stop filling up the shulker box. Because otherwise, uh, the shulker box would get full and you'd have to uh, to restart it activate this piston, then activate this dispenser, which would mean knocking out this rock here, uh, putting a button on that block, and then rebooting it that way. So this is basically an entire full failsafe to prevent having to uh, restart this from... Uh, restart this from uh, completely jamming. And then over here, we have another failsafe, which is to essentially uh, retract this block which prevents the piston pushing and this is just in case For whatever reason these hoppers have somehow backed up which shouldn't be possible um, It could be possibly of the hoppers empty, but that I can't actually remember why this is up here maybe um, This line might not be needed after some design changes have been done but I've just left it in as legacy code, as if it were. Um, so yeah, this basically prevents this piston from being pushed, uh, just to prevent extra items entering into this hopper here. Now then, time to have a look at this in a tileable setting. Now bear in mind, so I bear in mind, I have done a few changes, namely up here. So, because it's tileable, you can actually get away with putting dust and repeaters by each other. In case you're wondering why that repeater there is off, that's because this line here is turned on. Because, uh, just to demonstrate that if you have this uh, hopper line all the way filled up, and you have, uh, I just put in some extra blocks there, um, you will not get a signal in these blocks here. As you can see, uh, if we look at the right, power is 1, and then power is 0 for there. And as you can see, like I was saying, this cuts off, and this block is retracted, and these two stay extended, uh, which is all part of the plan. So, that is pretty much everything. Uh, yeah, this is just to show how the items would enter. Uh, let's remove a few of these blocks. Um, yeah, we just throw in a barrier block. As you can see, uh, I've actually filled in... Actually, I haven't. So as you can see, the barrier blocks entered the next item filter across. So if I were to add more barrier blocks... Um, don't need these anymore. Uh, then this, this shulker box here, uh, in this gap here, would begin to fill up with shulker boxes. And bear in mind that the first time running through, you can load up the shulker boxes first, and then the items, and it will start running without you having to initially put in these shulker boxes manually, which is a nice little touch that just simply happened because of the design. And that is pretty much it for this design. I hope you enjoy. I believe there are still some improvements to be done from this. Why? Is that powered? Ah, 
Uh, that should be a repeat. Yeah, there's um, a few b bits here which you can't actually have a dust on. Uh, I just found another one there. So, yeah, that means I have to... Uh, what block was that? There we go. Okay, uh, so that is pretty much it. I'm trying to think if I have forgotten anything else in this design. Uh, yeah, these uh, these cauldrons here have to be a third full. Um, this repeater here, this repeater here, and this repeater here all have to be set on to four. You need two comparators here. Now that I'm thinking about it, it is entirely highly possible. No, actually that won't work because it activates the piston a second time. Forget that I tried to change the design after showing it in a video. Um, oh yeah, there is a slight design flaw with this, which is when you break this shulker box here, it has a chance of landing in this hopper or this hopper or this hopper. Um, so as you can see, I have actually had one shulker box from this line because I've only been uh, uh, like doing some last fine tuning tests on this line here because I changed some timings up there while building it. Um, yeah, uh, so unfortunately that does mean if you want to put some chests or anything down here, they will be kind of unsorted. If you have any idea on how to fix uh, this little design flaw, I would much appreciate um, knowing a design fix for this. Uh, that is the only flaw I've been able to find in this design. Uh, but now that I've seen this, I am now wondering... Yeah, let's let's try this quickly. Uh, right, remove this, remove that, uh, and let's see if this stops. Cool. Okay, so you can have the redstone actually like this. And how many items? I mean, I guess it's around 20? No, 18. So 18 items and then four hopper filter blocks. Uh, yes, for the second time, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next redstone video. Take care. Bye bye.